Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. Getting ready to make, um, actually this is going to be a fruity soap. It is almost winter, but I decided I wanted something a little lighter. And um, this is kind of a citrusy smell. Let me get that out of the way. It has um, like grapefruit and lime and blackberry. Smells really good. That was just my lye solution with my silk. I already have my clay in here. my cream just trying to get a grip on it get that out of the way Notice sometimes after I put the cream in, it kind of separates a little bit. And that's what this is doing, so I'm just gonna blend it for an extra minute. Oh, I'm already getting traced. Okay, so it's my fragrance. I have no plan for this other than the color. Not doing a lot of color. Blackberry notes, so going with purple and green. Like yeah, but there's no grape in the scent, it's blackberry. Mm. And then I'm going to just leave the base color. Gonna stir this a little bit just to make sure that it's the fragrance is all incorporated. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. And actually, I want a little bit more. Maybe a smidge more green. I'm not sure why yet. I'll figure it out. Thinking about my top a little bit. I'm going to do a drop swirl. No idea. In case you couldn't hear, she wanted to know if I knew what I was going to name this one. I do not. I guess I better blend these up. I'm just going to pour. 
pour them in. Might have looked kind of cool, but... I want more green in here. Can you get my green tab out for me, please? Yeah. Can you open it, please? Thank you. It smells good in here. Mm hmm All right, let's see what that does. Can you think that better? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Okay, you can go ahead and put that away. Thank you. For the no, I actually, I think I put a lot of purple in. I think I put more purple in because I wanted a, a bright purple. And the lighter green? Well, I kind of wanted a green green, like that. but I think that's actually good. I like that. It's kind of a kind of an iris kind of a green or purple. Just, actually I think it kind of looks blackberry ish yeah. other than well, yeah, yeah. It actually does. Just kind of what I was going for. <laughs> Clean that off for the next one. Let me get some of this mess out of the way here. Normally I have my extra table right next to me and it's not tonight. It's a couple of steps away. I didn't plan that very well, but I don't feel like moving it. It's loaded with stuff. Okay. I think I'm going to like that one when you cut it. Oh, I hope so. I actually think what I'm going to do now, yeah, I keep taking turns, is drop it in there. No, I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Thank you. I'm winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I don't know why I'm doing this. Isn't that great? Is that usually how art works? I guess so. Sometimes I have a plan though. I just don't at the moment. I tell you, Grandma's been watching the videos. Say hi to Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Okay, I'm gonna leave just a smidget. Just, I mean, literally, just a smidget in the bottom to drizzle on the top. Wait, Grandma. Can I look, I have a lot of pink or purple left. I mean. Oh, and nothing to pour it on with. 
Oh, wait, I haven't. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is still so fluid. Am I in the camera? Yes. Thank you. Turn this around. So I have no idea how this is going to look. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. trying to cover all of the green underneath. Let's tack that down carefully. I'm going to leave the top on this flat. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just in a flat top kind of mood today, I think. Change it up a little. so much purple left it might cover up all the green. Well, that could be interesting. Yeah well it is what it is. I, I'll still stick a skewer through it and swirl it maybe that will uh, bring the green back out to play. Yes, very purple. I want to use this set up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to pause and we'll let this set up and then figure it out. Okay. All right, I just zigzagged it a little bit. I don't know, I can't play with this too much. It's going to turn brown. Starting to mix a little. You think that's good? I do. All right. Let's 
a little bit of glitter. Oops, a lot of glitter. I feel like it's coming out, but it's not going on the soap. It is. I can see it. There it goes. It. Okay. So, don't go anywhere. I'm going to attach the cutting video to the end of this one. I don't have a name yet, but I do know it'll be cured January 4th. So, thanks for watching. Okay, so here is the finished soap. Um, I still don't have a name for this. I have been so busy that I haven't... Oops, a little bit of soap for my last batch that I just cut. Still there. I haven't had a chance to even think about what I would name any of the soaps that I made yesterday. This one is still really, really soft. And I'm really curious as to what this one looks like on the inside. Because I just had no rhyme or reason for what I did. Here we go. So that's kind of cool. And then the flat top. I'm liking the flat tops. And this one smells, it smells really good. And my husband keeps saying, I like the way that smells. It's just, um, it's light and fresh. Blackberry and grapefruit and lime. And I really pick up the lime and the warm undertones of the blackberry. That's pretty. Do you like that? Yeah, it's very pretty. I like how that one's going to I hope you can see, catch the colors in this. My shadow's not in the way. But the um, the purple is kind of a, a deeper purple, like a blackberry would be. And the green is a little brighter. So even though it is just a few days from Thanksgiving, it's not a warm winter fall scent at all. So there you have it. This will be cured. January 4th and will be available for pre-order here before Thanksgiving. Uh, keep an eye on the website because they will be running some specials. And StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.